me over on the other side, along with the nutrient destruction, I found out the creation of toxic heat metabolites from, from the cooking. And basically what we see, perceive as um, the things that make uh, food inviting, like that uh, luscious golden brown flavor that is so yummy to look at and to taste. Uh, well, that's damage. Uh, a lot of damage in that. In the protein family, uh, you get heterocyclic amines, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and nitrous amines, all of which been, have been studied extensively and uh, tied to cooking food. And uh, heaps of studies out there if you want to go on PubMed, Science Direct, uh, Google Scholar. But nobody's really saying, taking it the next step and saying, stop cooking your food to get rid of these things. These chemicals are carcinogenic, cancer-causing, and mutagenic. They're damaging your DNA. Um, in the carbohydrate family, uh, they're making, or it's making, cooking is making acrylamide, which uh, is an industrial toxin. I call it that because it hadn't been seen outside of the industrial sector until the Swedes did a study in 2002. Um, and they found that it was uh, rampant in the food supply. Uh, and it's really high in the grains, breads, potatoes, potato chips, pastas, uh, acrylamide. It's really poisonous to the body. Once again, carcinogenic and mutagenic. There's one more chemical that's been studied extensively as well. That's called furon. Furon is a dioxin-like product rampant in the uh, carbohydrate family. Uh, dioxin is an agent orange. Uh, it's in the chlorine bleaching process of paper, and it's in waste incinerators uh, in, in the combustion process. It's very toxic, once again, carcinogenic and mutagenic. Um, and fats at any heat are damaged. They all go rancid right away, and a rancid fat is carcinogenic and mutagenic. Okay, so those are all the three of the macronutrients that are destroyed. And, and, and it made sense to me then that this is why the, the body is perceiving it as such. So those are what I call my three non-negotiables of raw versus cooked, and those are the three things that will make it. So I never go back to cook, and because I've never found anybody that can debate them these particular things away. You just can't do it. So, um, one other thing I was going to mention was a study that I saw on conventional potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> it came up potatoes. But, um, uh, tomatoes um, or poison tomatoes. 